Well, I thought I'd share with you my first time in using the pressure chamber. Um, I have actually tried the pressure chamber out so that I know what I'm doing when it comes to it. Um, I've prepared some moulds here. These ones I've got, um, this is for rings and they've got little flowers in the top. And this one is for pendants. So what the plan is, I'm using Lumilite Clear. The biggest thing is it has a very short opening time. Once I mix the two together, I think it's seven minutes. So it's going to have to be quite quick work of doing this. Um, but I'm not going to try and get overthrawed by the, the short opening time. So what I've done, I have uh, I made one of these for the mould for the pressure chamber and it's just so that I can put quite a lot of stuff in it at the same time. Um, I don't need all of that today so I'm just, I've left it sat in there and I'm actually just going to place these in um, into the pressure pot because they'll both fit quite well in there so, so I don't need to worry too much about that. I have the lid here ready to go on. Um, you can't actually see that, can you? I've just got the lid here, and obviously that's my connector for my um, air compressor, which I have. It's underneath this table here because it's too big. Now, when that does initially go on, because once this starts, I'm not going to do too much. I'm just going to show you a first casting and tell you what I think of really the first one that I've done. Um, so once I connect that up and put the compressor on, it will be quite noisy for a minute um, until I get the pressure up to where it's going. So uh, I'm just gonna crack on now and get it done. It's just gonna be a quick video, just wanted to show you me doing it and then I'll show you me demolding it. I've already put the lines and everything on here to how much resin I need so first off I'll get the two mixed out I'm presuming it'll be pretty much the same sort of um, thickness and that of the Illumilite Gosh, it's stringy. Well, of the sorry, of the aluminite there, the other casting resin that I use that that obviously has a forty-five minute opening time. The other one. out of the way. Let's get you and start mixing. Because I don't have to worry about bubbles at all. So all I need to do is make sure that I get it mixed. Seems to be done. I'm not going to waste any more time.
lifted up far too much resin. chamber sorted Okay, so that's it. Come back in two hours and I'll tell you what I think. Okay, that's the two hours up. I'm hoping that'll be enough for it. It this pressure chamber they do lose a bit of pressure. Um this one went down to fifty-five. About fifty-four. Um, so it pretty much kept the pressure that I needed. Um, there's probably other stuff that I could do because I'm not actually even sure what all this bits are for and that. So um, that's it for just now. What I'm going to do is release the air from this. That's just ready to release these now. It's a great pressure pot this actually, I really like these big nuts. might have been a reaction to um, some glue yeah I'm quite pleased with this as you can see in there it's not much of a different result to be honest that I get from the um, vacuum chamber but the main thing is there's no air in it I did hope that that flower would be underneath the resin, but it's not, so um, well, we'll see what that looks like when it comes out. It's still a little bit tacky because it's only been two hours. It's not really tacky, actually. So that's that one, and yeah, I think it's definitely a reaction to the CA glue. 
yeah very happy with that one as well that's the two um, pendants but I certainly can't see I'm not sure that might be an air bubble just in there which will be a bit disappointing if it is considering I don't get any air bubbles in the other resin it does look like an air bubble actually so well we'll just have to see how it comes out I can't see any with with that ones so that's the first try of the pressure cooker uh, not sure what I think of the finish like I say it took longer but I got the same result with vacuum but it was a lot quicker to put it in and this this resin I mean this is two hours ago I was just pouring this into the pots and putting it in so um, in that sense it's perfect and the resin is beautifully crystal clear but I mean as you can see these are all miniature bubbles I mean there shouldn't shouldn't really be any bubbles in there I'm hoping they're just on the surface but realistically there shouldn't be any okie dokie um, I just thought I'd let you see my first casting and um, once I've demolded these I'll uh, maybe just do a couple of minutes on top to tell you what I think then okay um, that's me demolded um, this and I'm probably a bit more shocked than anything at the size of those air bubbles in there and I'm wondering I must say it comes out lovely out of the mould, it's so crystal clear. I would definitely say the Illuminite Clear is clearer than the casting resin to look at. But the thing is, in the bottom of this one here, um, we've got some white lines in there. I'm thinking that's due because it's not stabilised wood. Now, I don't very often use stabilised wood in in anything like this or even in pen blanks but then I use the amazing casting clear and I'm wondering if that's the difference here so I'm calling out to use that use Illumilite because in America this it tends to be this the Illumilite clear that's used and I have heard people talk before about unstabilized wood gets like a white on it because of the moisture content in the wood um, so I, I, I'm presuming it's that but if anybody else has got any ideas about that this one here has come out fine um, that's just two small pendants and it and it has actually come out fine There's, there is a tiny bubble there but that's not actually going to affect anything and this I will probably be able to make rings from this I'm not sure if they'll be sellable so I'll just give them away this is totally unusable though because the bubbles are so big see on the Illumilite clear this one has only got a seven minute opening time and as you've seen from the video I thought it was pretty quick I thought I had it done within a minute or two and in, in, in the chamber, but I might be wrong. I'll be able to see when I edit this little bit. Um, so really, has anybody got any advice about that? Um, I probably picked the hardest one to try the pressure pot out on. Because for one, I'm casting flowers. Because I think maybe those air bubbles have come out of the inside of the buds. Although they were dried. Maybe because it's put so much pressure on it the air bubbles have come out and with the the quick um with only having the seven minutes i'm wondering if it just that didn't happen in time um this is the ones that i've done with the amazing casting resin and i've done these in the pressure chamber i don't get that reaction with the wood like i've got off this um, you can see that there, there isn't actually any bubbles in this one at all. Um, none. That's from the 
casting pot that I did it in. Um, there was obviously has got marks on it. So that what those have come out absolutely perfect. They're totally usable. But this one, so that's the vacuum chamber and amazing cast. And this is the Illumilite Clear with just a seven minute window and the pressure chamber. So a little bit disappointed at the first one. But I think when I get round to doing some of the pen blanks and I do have some more of the stabilised wood that I used in last week's video. Um, let me pull that camera up because I'm just trying to I do have um, some of the stabilised blanks. So I won't get a chance to do any more today. Um, but I think maybe next week I'll try that. I'm sure that'll be more successful, won't it? didn't want an air bubble in anything. It's not a total disaster. But I was hoping for better. So anyway, um, I'm just putting this one up. This is just going up an extra. And if anybody's got any advice or help or or anything that they've found out, if you just drop a, a message in, in the comments below um, so I can get back to you. And it might just be because it's a seven minute opening time and maybe because I put the flowers in so what I'll maybe do with that is maybe try casting some of the the normal ring blanks that I use and pendants with just the blue dyes or the green dyes in it to see on that but it'll be interesting to see if I'm not going to be able to use anything but stabilized wood in it with that particular resin I don't really need to use that resin to be honest I'm quite happy using the the amazing casting clear resin that I get from Amazon but anyway I just thought I'd put that up all this excitement and it comes to this thanks for watching